Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a ton of empties to share with you guys. A lot of these are skincare. There are mm, a couple makeup products in here, but most of this is skincare. So we're going to go through this and I'll let you guys know my thoughts, my opinions on these products and whether or not I feel like I would purchase these again. Are these trash or treasures? So let's get started. The first thing is the Bath and Body Works. This is the Sleep Nighttime Tea Body Lotion. Oh my gosh, I love the way this smells. It smells absolutely amazing. This is a glass bottle though, just to warn you. I didn't, I mean, I knew there were glass. I was in Bath and Body Works the other day with my son and we happened to walk past the display of these and my purse caught one of these and it dropped it onto the floor and glass was splattered everywhere. So just be careful. They are very, very much so glass. But this smells absolutely amazing. It's not super hydrating. What I like it for is just the scent. Honestly, it has a very pleasant scent to help to soothe you, relax you, or anything that they, they have different things that they can do. They have ones that's going to make you feel motivated, energized. They have the sleepy time ones. The sleepy time ones are my favorite. So I really do enjoy this and I will continue to purchase these. The next thing is a body wash. This is the Caress Passionate Spell. It's the Fun Fragrance Elixis elixirs passion fruit and fiery orange rose this smells fantabulous oh my gosh guys smells so good it definitely has more of a amber scent to it but it just smells so good but because it's so perfumed i would definitely keep it away from your downstairs area because it's not going to be good for that area but it just smells all so good all over your body it has a really good suds to it i would definitely purchase more of these let me know if you try the scent and what you think of it i think it's absolutely amazing the next thing is the n1a114 ultimate restore repair deep repair hair mask this was okay i liked it but i didn't love it this is by strivectin it didn't really impress me that much honestly i felt like shania twain i'm like that don't impress me much so it was just it was fine i wouldn't purchase it nah. the next thing is the redken extreme anti-snap is an anti-breakage leave-in treatment for distressed hair i've been purchasing these for many many moons now i love this product i purchased the last one at my local beauty salon as you can tell they've got their pricing on here you can purchase these at ulta too though i'm pretty sure so if you're looking for this i think it can be it is sold at ulta it really does help to, if you're someone your hair like to tends to snap, it doesn't pull out by the root, it just snaps off. This really does help to strengthen your hair so that it doesn't snap as easily. So I would purchase more of these. I would recommend these. If you've never tried one, definitely check them out. The next thing is another body wash. This is the Snow Angel Sweetly Fallen Snow Body Polishing Scrub. This doesn't have a whole lot of suds to it because it's more or less a scrub, but scrubs are really, really good in the winter time because it's going to help to fluff off that dead, dry skin and make your skin feel hydrated once you put your lotions and things on. This one smells amazing because it's that Snow Angel scent. I love the Snow Angel scent from Philosophy. I think it just smells absolutely amazing. So this is something I know I will purchase more of. I actually have quite a few still in my little stash, so I'm good to go. But if you were thinking about getting it, I think the Snow Angel is on sale at Sephora right now. So definitely check their scent out. You're going to love it. If you like the more lighter, very sweet, innocent scents, you're going to love it. The next thing is another hair mask. This is by Carol's daughter. This is the Minoy repairing hair mask. It, it says after one use, it's 98% less breakage. Again, I do have a problem with my hair just kind of breaking off and this really does help to repair my hair and it smells fantastic. It's got a very creamy scent to it. Oh, there's still a little bit in here. Ooh, not a lot, but it's enough that I might be able to do maybe partial of my hair. This just smells absolutely amazing though. If you've never tried anything from the Carol's Daughter, I definitely recommend the Herman Oilon. Herman Oilon just smells so, so good. So definitely recommend this and I will purchase more. Then we have another body wash. We have the Ole Firming Body Butter and this is in the scent. Um, I don't think this is a scent on here. This has the advanced ribbons to it. This was very good and hydrating as well because it's got those ribbons. I think it's like ribbons of lotion or something. I'm not positive, but I feel like it's a very hydrating body wash. I would purchase more of these. I love the Olay brand. Olay and Dove and Ivory always remind me of my grandmother. She used to use a lot of those different types of soaps and that reminds me of her. So whenever I'm using them, I think about my grandma and it's never bad to think about your loved ones. This one just smells very sweet. It's almost like a citrusy scent. So if you like those more citrusy scents, you would like this. And if you need something hydrating for your skin, this is a good one. Then we have a little travel wipe. This is the La Fresh Travel Light Makeup Removing Wipes. 
we recently stayed at a hotel and they had these there. These are really, really good. I would love to purchase. I think you can get a giant box of these on Amazon. I want to purchase a giant box of these for when I travel and when the hotel doesn't have those because this just works so, so good at removing your makeup. It smells really good. So highly recommend checking those out. Then we have the Amica Undone Texture Spray with Sea Buckthorn Berry Oblifica. I love this texture spray. It really does a good job and it smells so good. Oh, Oh, it's just air. It's not anything in it, really. It smells so fantastic, though. If you're looking for a good texture spray that smells really good, that's going to help to give your hair that lift that you were looking for, this is a very, very good one. Highly recommend, and I would consider purchasing. Then we have a something else from Bath & Body Works. I love these room sprays. I want to purchase more of these. This one is the Stress Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Oh, my gosh. This one is just so relaxing. I feel like... Just smelling this kind of like feels, puts me at ease. It makes me feel like I need to go get a book and cozy up in a nice blanket and just, oh, it just smells so good. I love these room sprays. They, the scent doesn't last a super long time in your house or anything like that, but it's great for like if you know you're having company and you're like, look, I need to like make my house smell a little bit better. These are great for that. Or if you want to spray your bedroom before you go to bed because it does linger in your pillows just a little bit. This is a perfect thing to spray in your room before bed, especially this scent right here. The eucalyptus spearmint smells so, so good makeup product we have the urban decay naked skin everybody talks about how they always pop the things out and i can't figure out how to do that because i was going to do that because i feel like there's more in here although you can definitely see through the container here so i'm definitely done with it this is my all-time favorite concealer i think this concealer works best for dry skin it works best for people who have aging skin it just works really good it doesn't cause any creepiness any cre creepiness under your eyes it just looks fantastic for me i have purchased a lot of these when they were on sale so I know I have backup of this, so I know that I will use more of these. This is just something that I recommend if you have very dry skin like I do, and you're just looking for something that has a pretty good coverage. It just looks good. It just always looks good. I have it under my eyes today, and I feel like it looks it looks good. Honestly, I feel like it just always looks good. Another body wash. This one my friend Lashes 20 XO sent me. This is the Frosted Coconut Snowball. Oh my gosh. It smells like summertime. It smells like summertime in a bottle. I thought for sure it was going to be more wintry scent, but it's not. It's very summerish and it smells so good. So if you're looking, if you're missing the summer, this winter, get this. It smells really good. It says it has frosted coconut, North Pole vanilla, winter freesia, snow kissed woods, and spun sugar. It's just really good. Very, very good. Highly recommend. We have another room spray. This is the pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh my gosh. This one smells really good. This is really good. For like your kitchen area and things like that it just makes it smell like you're cooking food when you're really not you're just being lazy and making rice krispie treats so this is a really good spray i love this it smells so so good again i will be purchasing more of these room sprays they're my favorite thing from bath and body works maybe my favorite thing i don't know i like the candles too then we have a little sponge i'm actually going to toss my friend lashes tony xo sent me this as well i'm sorry tony i don't like this this one you're supposed to use dry use it dry and I feel like I don't know how to use it it's too hard you try to put your foundation on and I feel like I'm pouncing my face to death like I'm trying to beat myself up and then if you try to like smooth it on I feel like it's just kind of smearing it I don't like this sponge no don't recommend don't like the next thing is the Sunday Riley good jeans and Luna Sunday Riley good jeans and Luna night sleeping night oil this is like their power couple I really like the skincare, but I feel like it's so pricey and I have found things that are not so pricey that are working for my skin. So I'm not going to purchase these probably anymore, to be honest with you. I really do like the way they work. If I find that my skin, it feels like it's missing these, then I will purchase them again. But for now, I'm going to kind of like get them out of my collection, use them up and then just say goodbye for a while. But they're very, very good. The only thing I've noticed though is with the good jeans here. I don't know if you can tell or not, but the cap is actually peeling apart like the it's just it's looking really gross look it's peeling off like that's that's not good you see that do you see the flakes can y'all see the flakes that's just oh i mean come on that with as much as they're charging for that you think they do a little bit better with their packaging i've had a problem with one of them breaking before and then the packaging on that one where the lid's peeling now the gold color is peeling nah do a better job on your packaging for as much as you charge the next thing is the unwashed dry cleanser this is a refreshing hair cleanser. This smells really, really good too. I love things like this because it makes me feel like I can be lazy and still smell like I took a shower. So 
for my hair anyway. I still take a shower. Not to, I don't take a shower. I mean, for my hair, it still smells like I washed my hair. Let me correct myself. This smells really, really good. I love anything like this, but the unwashed just smells fantastic. So something that I would consider purchasing the full size in. Then we have the Orlando Pita Play, Pita Play. <laughs> Orlando Pita Play. Yeah, that's what it is. I was like, that doesn't sound right. This is the Atmos Shield Hair Protectant Treatment for Damp or Dry Hair. So you can use it in your hair when your hair is dry or when it's damp. Love this. Love, love, love the way this smells. Smells absolutely fantastic. It definitely does a good job of helping to hydrate your, your hair. And then also, I think it does a good job with detangling too. I feel like it detangled my hair a little bit easier, smoothed it out. Would definitely consider purchasing a full size of that. Oh, we have one big, oh, a candle. Of course, Bath and Body Works candle. This one is in the scent, Tis the Season. Smells like Christmas. I feel like on, have you ever, have you have ever seen Gilmore Girls when she says, I smell snow? I smell Christmas. So this one is the scent Red Apples, Freshly Ground Cinnamon, and Deep Green Pine. That's why it definitely smells like Christmas because it's got that pine scent to it. Highly recommend their candles. I think they're very, very good. They do have that black stuff that comes off of them and will stick to like your walls. And if you have them on your, I put them on top of my stove and I have to clean underneath the stove sometimes because that black soot will start to settle there. So I don't like that part of it. But other than that, they're fantastic. Here is the Ahave Dead Sea Water, Water Mineral Hand Cream and Sea Kiss. This caused me to purchase two, not one, but two full sizes of this because it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's an excellent hand cream. This is a hand cream I keep with me pretty much everywhere I'm at. I love it during the daytime. I think it just smells fantastic. It does a fantastic job of helping to kind of put a barrier on your hands so you, when you go out into the cold weather, your hands are protected. So love this, highly recommend it. And obviously I purchased two. The next thing is the Ulta Beauty On The Go Cleansing Makeup Removing Wipes. These are fine. They're not anything to write home about. So I don't know if I would purchase them. Honestly, I don't really use facial cleansing wipes anymore. I started using the pink little cloth things. I love those the best. So probably wouldn't purchase. The next thing is the Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser. This one I heard from Dr. Dre. She recommended using this to help to get off your makeup at nighttime. She's right, guys. This stuff works really, really good. And it smells good. It's almost got like that reminiscence of a... It reminds me, okay, I'll be honest, and don't take this the wrong way, but it reminds me of my grandma, and I love the way it smells. So anything that can remind me of, like, that love that you get from your grandparents, I think it's fantastic. So it smells really good to me, and I love the way that it gets your makeup off. It does an excellent job of removing my makeup and hydrating my skin. So highly recommend this. Dr. Dre is completely right. And then we have the... MD Solar Sciences Daily Anti-Aging Moisturizer with SPF 30. This is a really good SPF. I feel like it worked really well for me. I was trying to see if there was any more in here so we could pump some out so I could show you. But I think she's completely dead. But it's a really good one. It is like a lotion type. So I like that type of uh, sunscreen. I don't like, I have one right now that's more like a silicone feel. I don't like those whatsoever. I like the lotion ones. This works really well and it's an SPF 30. So I like to use 30 and above. Anything below that I don't feel like it's good enough for my skin. So this is excellent. The next thing is the Fresh Cream Philosophy Hand Cream. This is another really good hand cream. I love Philosophy, but I don't feel like this one is quite hydrating enough. So I don't think it's going to work if your hands are very, very dry. I'd recommend getting the Ahave over this for the daytime hand moisturizer. When we have a couple more items here. Oops, what do we have here? Now we have the Dr. Jart Ceramide and Cream. This is really good for dry skin. It's a little cream that you use to help to hydrate your skin. It's again like a barrier that you're going to put over your skin to help to block in that moisture that you have in your skin. Love this. Then we have the L'Occitane. L'Occitane. Oh, somebody tell me how to pronounce it and I forget. This is the Amande Supple Skin Oil. Oh my gosh. I really want to purchase the full size on this guys. It's $50 though for three ounces I think it is. I don't know. That's expensive. But I just love this cream, this oil. It works really well for my skin. I put it on after I shower to help lock in all the moisture that's from the shower. Oh my gosh, it smells so good and works so well. Love, love, love that. The next thing is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus, and this is in the shade Blonde. This is good. This is actually really good. I feel like it's comparable to the Anastasia one, but I don't think it's an exact dupe, but it's definitely comparable. It definitely has the small little spoolie on the end, and then it's got the smaller little tip on the front, so it's going to precisely do your brows. Love this. I would recommend purchasing those, and I would purchase more. 
The next thing is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is just a little deluxe size sample. This was in my purse, so it's got like stuff all over it. This is an excellent setting spray for if you want your makeup to last and feel hydrated. Love this. Highly recommend it and will always purchase that. Then we have the Hello Prince by Harvey. This is the Harvey Prince Hello Body Butter. Oh my gosh, I had this in my sample Sunday and I had to use the rest of it up because it just smells so darn good. There's just a tiny bit in here. Oh, it smells so good. I need to go into the Harvey Prince website and purchase some of these because they just smell so, so good. I love the scent of his products. I am all about hand creams this year. Hand cream, hand cream, hand cream. I love anything that's going to help keep me hydrated and moisturized. So this one just smells so good. It's got a very, like, not strong, but it's definitely perfumey. So if you don't like that perfumey scent, you may not like it. Then we've got, what do we got? Oops, a couple more items here. Let me get them all out here so we have them because I'm, I'm afraid my bucket is being a little noisy. So now we have a brow product from It Cosmetics. This is the Super Skinny Brow Power. This one's a really good one as well. This one is a little bit pricier than the L'Oreal one, but it has that precision tip to it and it has the small spoolie on it. So if you're looking for that, this is a really good one as well, but you're going to pay more than you would for the L'Oreal one. So I would recommend the L'Oreal over this one just because it can save you some money and they're very similar. The next thing is the another Dr. Dart Ceramiden Cream. This again, of course, is a really good uh, facial cream. It's going to help to make your skin very, very hydrated. Obviously, I've gone through two of them, so you know they're really good for, especially for dry skin. Then we have the Paracone MD. This is the Vitamin C Ester 15. This comes out like yellow-like when you put it out, and it's very thick. It's a very thick vitamin C for your skin, but I do recommend these. They're very pricey. I think it's like 100 bucks for four small little things like this, so they're very pricey, but they work really well. They work for helping to get rid of any kind of discoloration you have on your skin and that helping make that disappear so that your skin looks brighter and looks more vibrant and helping get rid of dark spots on your skin. So love, love, love that. Then we have the Milani Keep It Clean Longwear Lip, Cl Lip Color Remover. Ugh. Nah, this is bad. This does not work for me at all. I would put this on and it's pretty much an oil that you put on your lips. I don't feel like it helped to remove my makeup any faster whatsoever for my lips. I had lip products that were like long lasting. It didn't help at all. So no, I don't like this. Nah. Nope, nope, nope. Then we have the Aromatherapy Soothing Lavender Oil. I love lavender oil. Lavender oil is very relaxing, very calming. So if you're someone who has anxiety like I do, lavender oil will help you with that, I believe, because it helps me with it. So definitely recommend checking that out. Then we have empty lid. We have the Skin Iceland, the Icelandic Relief Eye Cream. This is actually a pretty good eye cream. I was like not so sure about it at first, but the more I used it, the more I was like, yeah, it's really good. It really does help to kind of depuff your eye, your under eyes, and it really does help to just not really brighten. It just makes it look brighter because it doesn't really change the color. It just makes it look brighter and then less puffy. So really good one. Then we have another hand cream. This one here is by Crabtree and Evelyn. This is the rose water one with ultra moisturizing hand cream. Oh my gosh, this one's really good too. I love Crabtree and Evelyn. I like her little tube. I like how they open up. Their little cap is like different shapes. So it helps you to open it when your hands are slippery or it helps you close it when your hands are slippery. So love this. Smells absolutely amazing. I think Crabtree and Evelyn, it doesn't get a whole lot of hype on YouTube and I'm not sure why because they're really good. Then we have the Peter Thomas Roth, the water drench hyaluronic cloud cream. This is for hydration up to 72 hours. This is really good too. This is good for putting over top of your moisturizers at nighttime. So it helps to like sink, like lock it all in. This is really, really good for hydration. I think this is a great one if you have very dry skin though. I don't think you're gonna need it if you have normal skin. So I think if you have normal skin, you don't really need it. But if you have dry skin, highly recommend it. Then we have the Paracone MD Hydrating Cloud Cream. Again, very, very good for dry skin if you're going to layer it up. I think it works best layered up. Worked really well for me layered up, but I couldn't use this alone. If I use this alone, then it's not quite hydrating enough. Maybe if you have normal skin and you just use this and you didn't layer it up, you might have success with it, but I have to layer it. So the next and last thing is a little Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. This face oil is really good. It really does help to get rid of acne, but it smells terrible. It smells like, oh, like basil or something. I don't know. It smells like some herb. And I'm just like, I don't love it. 
I don't like the way it smells, but it definitely helps you clear up acne. If you have acne issues, highly recommend this. Check it out because it is very, very good. It's pretty potent too. You don't need but just a drop or two and put that on your acne spots, the actual spots that you have on your skin, and it's going to tremendously help your skin. So I would definitely consider purchasing a full size of this one. This is something from Sunday Rally that I would like to try out more of. So anyway, those are all the products that I have used up recently. So I'd love to know what products you've finished up let me know thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'll catch you guys later Bye.